and like I want to go back to where this all started. You're a PT, oh, uh, yep. PT for years. How yeah. did you get into it? Geez, that that's a that, that's a loaded question and a half. Um, so where do I start? I grew up in Canada, um, in that's in Bankstown. So Bankstown boy for life, born and bred. Um, up the doggies, I guess, right? For um, sure. If I don't say it, I get crucified. Um, <laughs> You're an honorary doggies fan in my books, bro. Right, uh, fan since uh, 04. So the only premiership they've won in like the last 20 years. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, That's fine. It, it still counts. Um, but yeah, I grew up there. Um, went to high school in Pinky Point. If anyone knows where that is, that's like a random area, but grew up there. Um, but yeah, so I actually never actually wanted to become a PT ever. It never crossed my mind, um, which sounds weird because like, I wish I started sooner. And it's just one of those things that sort of just happened. Um, you know, going all the way back to 2012 when I graduated HSE and I'm, I'm going a long way back, but this is a, such a good story. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. So uh, 2012, so it's my HSE and you know, everyone in year 12 is like, I want to go to uni. I want to go to do a degree and be super successful, make heaps of money, right? And that's how like, that's, that's the system. Like when you, get edu- when you get educated in year 12, you're like, everyone's telling you to go to uni, go to uni, go to uni, don't do anything else, but go to uni. I'm like, okay, that's what I got to do. One thing they didn't tell us that you had to do really well in HSC. Um, I flopped, sort of yeah. Given. Yeah, right, so um, I, I flopped, I, I crashed and burned, um, did horribly. And uh, it, it, it stung a little bit and I realized that, you know what, I can't get to uni. <laughs> um, still wanted to become an engineer though, because that was my main goal. Uh, ended up going to TAFE for three years and became, uh, got certified in um, structural engineering. So I did an advanced diploma in structural engineering and I was all set to go to uni, like that dream apparently that I wanted to have. Um, and then from there, um, I actually started working, I did a trial run in an engineering firm, um, found very quickly that I absolutely hated it. Why? I hated engineering. Um, I realized that I'm a very hands-on practical type of person okay. and engineering and, and for that field of engineering was a very sit down look at your laptop, look at your computer for six to eight hours and then go home. Mm-hmm. And I didn't feel as though I was helping anyone or I didn't feel accomplished in that sense. There wasn't a, like a, a sense of like, yeah, I did that. Or like, a, um, I'm proud of what I'm doing. And I think the idea of being an engineer, I think that's what kind of confused me. It's like, oh, I want to be an engineer, but I don't realize what it actually entails. Uh-huh. And so then when I actually did realize, I'm like, oh, let's, let's take a step back and not do this. <laughs> so what led you down that engineering path, though? What planted that seed in your head? Oh, so in high school, I chose all, this, all the topics that helped me with engineering. So I did engineering studies. I did like physics. Um, I did like all the maths and stuff and I've always been obsessed with how things work and why they work the way they do mm-hmm. and I thought engineering was the path for me because it it basically was a methodical way of thinking and that's how I like to think and so that's why I thought oh my personality plus this career equals like dream job and, and awesome paycheck yeah um, quickly realized that actually not how I think anymore I'm still obsessed with why things work and how they work, but more obsessed with how they make you feel and like why they make you feel like that as well. Um, That's probably why I'm a trainer as well. Like, I don't know, potatoes, potatoes. Um, But yeah, and then after my engineering flopped and failed, (laughs) um, I went down the tradie path. I became a bathroom and kitchen renovator. Um, Yeah, like it went from, it went did a complete, I'm just laughing because you're a completely different guy now to what I can picture you doing back then, man. Oh, bro, it was, it was funnels all day, every day, and steel cap boots, hammer in the back pocket, safety goggles on, looking pretty cool. 
uh, looking like a lumberjack, but you know. I love it. Yeah, it was, it was good. Um, it was good for like the first like few years. I think I did that for about three years. Um, but again, I had that like sort of epiphany where I was like, this is not for me. This is not who I am. This is not where I want to be in five, six years. Mm -hmm. And it's those like realizations that kind of like put life in perspective for you. Yeah. It's like, where do you really want to be 10 years from now? Are you going to be proud of yourself knowing that you went down this path 10 years from now? And that's something I had to like jump and juggle. 